Dear friends, on December 17, there has been a release in UAPA Studio. The build number is 2025 0.157 on December 17, 2024. This is the build. I am trying to install this build on my laptop. For this, I am logging into cloud.uipad.com. I am in the home page. Now let me click on this breadcrumb symbol and log into orchestrator. Now what I will do here, there is a question mark. I'm going to click on this question mark and then go down and there is something called downloads. I'm going to click on downloads. This will bring me to resource center. Now I have a enterprise license. If you look at, if I click on other versions, it will show me uh, the versions that I have. For example, I have 2410.8. Let me open the Arden remove programs on my laptop. And if I look at here, UAPA Studio has 2410.8.0. This is actually the Enterprise Studio Edition, which the latest one, which is already there on my laptop. What I'm planning, I'm planning to install the community edition now so that I would like to see the 2025 0.157. What I will do, I'll go back to the resource center page. And here, if I click on other versions, it doesn't show me. All I would do, hit on download. Once I hit on download, I think I have already downloaded this few minutes back. Let me show you. Let me click on this. Okay. Now on my screen, this is what I see UiPath upgrade. Why it is saying upgrade? Because I already have the 2024.8. You can see it here to 24.10.8. So that's why it is telling me you need to upgrade UiPath upgrade. UiPath collects usage. That's fine. I'm going to hit on accept and I'm going to click on advanced settings. Now here it is going to install Studio, Studio X Excel add-in, UiPath extension, UiPath, I'll just leave everything as it is. I'm not going to make any changes. And all I'm going to do is hit on upgrade. Now let's wait for some time. All right, looks like the updating component registration started. It took a couple of minutes. So I see I got a prompt. If you want to continue installing UiPath extension for Chrome, please close all your Chrome process and click OK. All right, so let me close. And I'm going to click on OK. Chrome browser process is still running, so click OK. That's OK. And same thing, it is asking for Edge. Let me click on OK. So finally, the installation is completed, complete UiPath setup. Now all I will do, I'll open launch UiPath Studio. So you can see the build version here, 2025.0.157. So now the studio has launched. Let's see how it appears. So on, on the bottom, if you look at, it says 2025.0.157 enterprise license per user installation. Okay, great. It has kept my uh, enterprise license at as it is. I thought it would convert to community, but good. I can see 2025.0.157. Now let me open a new process. Keep some name. Testing new testing 2025 uh, build for example i'll create now my studio with 2025.0.157 this new build is open there will be many differences from the older version to the new version i'm going to create a separate video discussing about this changes what are those changes what are the new improvements that we could see in the new build all this i would have a separate video for you guys to know and understand and try to use the new features 
सो प्लीज वेट फॉर माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन माई चैनल